Hello, my fellow feisty felons, I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building right here uh, near Summersville Dam, whatever this is, because I forgot to unlock it on this character, Riverside Manor. In this, on this little road, you can see this house here. We're going to be building a secret little hideout in this in-game house. And uh, it's just, as you can see, there's a road up here. You just head down this paved driveway. There's a car in the driveway that, you know, we can call our own. It looks like my brother was driving it, unfortunately, so it's totaled. Anyway, you just set your camp node down right there, and um, that should encompass the whole property. The first thing we're going to do is get inside the house so that we can start building. To do that, I'm just going to take a uh, rug and place it down, and then I'm going to take a cooking pot and place that down as well on top of the rug. Now, if you've seen this done before, you'll know what's going on. So as you fast forward through the video, you're going to miss out on the secrets of life that I'm about to impart. Just kidding. Now we're going to place this down next to this door here um, and put it so the spoon is facing the wall. Then you just cook at the cooking station, you know, and then when you get out of the station, you will drop down inside the building. Now, there's this weird hole thing. Just jump out of it. You probably will need marsupial, but if you don't have marsupial yet or a jetpack, why don't you go do that? Because you're you're making me embarrassed. Like that's the only that's the end game. The end game is getting marsupial in a jetpack. This a uh, foundation I put down already. I'm not going to show you me placing that. Why? Because it took a long time. There's going to be some intersecting problems with the edges of the building. Just keep messing around with it, moving it slightly, and then after that you'll be able to snap to it. But I want you to know it is possible to place a foundation there. It's just tricky. So be patient. Swear a lot. Those things helped me get through it. Okay? And if that doesn't help you, then... I, I, I can't either, to be honest, but I'm going to make these uh, striped planks um, because then I can line them up easier and I'll s probably change them to something else later uh, because I always do that and I'm a creature of habit. And what a creature of habit means is I have anxiety about trying anything new. Now, let's um, slap that down over there and now um, we'll see we have the floor. And uh, it is a glitchy area. If you move around, some stuff will come in and out of focus. Um, but, like, it's fine. I mean, I don't think it's anything to really worry about. We're kind of used to that. Um, in fact, this is probably the most immersive build we're ever going to do because it matches the outside world of this house that we're walking around. What are... Okay, so now we're going to put down some walls, and it doesn't really matter what ones you choose because they will not be visible on the outside. Well, they might, some of them might be, depending on where that initial foundation is placed, but most of them will not be. So it all depends on what walls you want. So I'm picking these ones because I like the shape and size of these windows, and I think they look great on the inside. And they also work really well for doing the doorway uh, curtain, which I'll show in a bit. Now, we're outside and we're going to change. Oh, some of these are visible, as I said. And the ones that are visible, I'm going to change into shack wall and probably some metal warehouse just so because that's a little too obvious here. And that's like, I don't know. I think it'll make it look like more boarded up, more scrappy or whatever. And I think that's fine. It's not super obvious if you know what to look for it is. But anyway, snap this to the foundations that are already in there. It will snap through the wall. And we're going to make a better way of getting in and out because the cooking station is too obvious. And also it takes a little bit too long. So set that down on a carpet and wait 55 minutes for the Collectron to decide to come out of his pod because you can't move it when he's in there because apparently he's not part of the structure. He's just a stupid entity that spawns in with it and he gets in the way. And so in the meantime, we'll make a little place for him. Now come back over here. We're going to make this. Now you want this at an angle uh, because you will need to interact with that terminal and you can only interact with the front of the terminal, which means it needs to be angled just enough so that you can hit the front and the carpet will let us put it up next to the wall otherwise it'll say the furniture entry is blocked so when we access it it'll put us inside 
but to the outside people that see it, they will think that that's just where we put our collectron. They won't probably think that's how you get in and out. And then we can get rid of this over here. And um, there we go. We're, we have our secret hideout um, entryway. And uh, the haunted house set blends really well with this dirty contemporary uh, texture that they have in there. So we're back inside and I put down this gantry right here. And I put this junk wall here because I couldn't put a wall in. And that was because it was intersecting with the uh, house. Now, to put curtains on these windows is a cool trick you can do. The windows are the exact height as the doorway. So you can put on this curtain and then replace it back to a window. And it's super simple. And then you have these hideous, horrible, but functioning curtains for the windows and they actually work, unlike the curtains that the game made for us, which uh, snap like 45 feet above the top of the window. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure who designed that or thought that was okay, but they charged us money for it. So I said, please give me my money back. And they said, okay. And then they did, but I still have them in my, um, you know, uh, tools. I can build them if I wanted to, but I just don't. So upstairs is way more glitchy than downstairs. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna make like a basic floor. I'm probably not gonna spend too much time up here. I might not even put walls up. Um, I just want this to be like, uh, there's an upstairs, but we don't really worry about it. You know, we don't talk about the upstairs um, because that's probably where Bruno is this whole time. If you got that reference, I apologize. Now over here, um, there is this, I'm gonna throw some walls up and a roof just to encase it and then i'll look outside and if any of that's poking through i'm just going to get rid of it because who cares about the upstairs so as you can see there is some of that sticking out this may be different from you because it all depends on where your um, initial foundation is placed so you will want to check this when you're when you're done doing that so i'm just going to get rid of this shit on this side because this is a side that's sticking out and it doesn't even matter because you can't really see the walls anyway. Um, now, over here, we can't place a... Um, actually, I'm going to put a generator in here so that we can have power on the inside of the house. So take... Uh, this one's really good because it's silent and it doesn't create smoke. Um, but uh, if we take this... And put it down and normally i like the ones that are all ugly and make smoke because they're immersive and shit but this one we're hiding because we want it to be sneaky that we live in there so this works for our purposes i would like to have the slant roof in a wall here but it, it doesn't let me because of the gutter there on the house it just it just doesn't fit there it won't work so i'm gonna have to use a stupid roof this one there it is to hide that now, um, inside, I want to show you a fun little trick. Now, the responder wall scrap things suck because I don't want the responders paint on my wall. But in this case, we can actually use them because they're only visible to the outside and the outside of that isn't going to be visible because the house wall will block it. So we can have this nice boarded up scrappy look and actually use these for once um, without having to say that we work for the responders because I don't know why we would. Now, underneath the porch here, we're going to create a red herring camp. What I mean by that is we're gonna have this camp visible on the map, probably just to fuck with people, and uh, we're going to um, have, you know, it's gonna be obvious that someone's camp is here, but, you know, if we have like a maybe this is where our camp is trick, then people might look down here, see our that we have a camp sort of down here. I put this carpet, by the way, so it'll sink into the ground a little bit more. Um, let's see, we have this camp down here, and they'll stop looking. Uh, they'll be like, oh, he lives down here. So I wanted down here to look like an actual vault dweller found this house and then camped out under the porch but in reality, this is our safe house in the house that we live in. It's a secret that we live in there. And our house inside the house 
will be less um, obvious because this will kind of throw people off the trail if they do see that we are camping in this area. So I put a couple of workbenches in here because I think that it still needs to be functional and I also don't think we need to glitch inside and outside the house just if we want to stop by the camp to use a workbench or two. So those and the scrap box I made accessible out here. So it's kind of like a, you know, kind of a strategic move. And I put this uh, on a carpet as well so that I could sink that down into the ground, but unfortunately a little bit of it was still floating um, over here, and I, I hate that so much. So I tried to find different things that could block the fact that it was floating. So I tried this bramble. But even though it was green or blue if you're colorblind, uh, it wouldn't go down. It wouldn't let me place it. Because it hates me, the game hates me, so I tried and it didn't work. So I gave up. You know, I really did. But I tried putting this down and it went up top onto the porch up here because god damn it and so i just threw this barrel um just in the weeds in the crops because it wouldn't go anywhere else now when i was looking at these crops i said you know that's just not gonna work i i need to have a wall around this because you can clearly see underneath the plants that there's no dirt in there and it's, this is supposed to be where we planted our crops, and that makes no sense. There's like an inch of dirt there. So let's have a wall around it. So using these catwalks, we can snap downward, which is amazing. This is the only thing in the game right now that lets you downward snap. And that used to be a thing. You used to be able to just snap walls underneath stuff. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the finished build. So as we approach it... Um, you'll see these lights I have. I have these lights outside the build for wherever there's light bleeding through from the inside to kind of disguise the fact that there's anything going on in there. People will see that there's light, but they'll see a light on the outside of the house. So someone will approach the house and say, okay, that, okay someone definitely camps here because there's a collectron and there's crops. And then they'll look around a bit more and they'll be like, well, there's no one inside. I'm not sure how they got in there. And maybe they'll look around a little bit more, and then they'll say, okay, I found their camp. They're just living under the porch, and it's cozy, you know? It, it does look like someone camps down here. It's very immersive. And uh, then they'll be like, all right, that's cool, and then they'll leave. They'll give up. And uh, this, by the way, is to power this end of the house. Um, very, very sneaky. And uh, so then I'll look, well, this will probably throw them off the trail because a pioneer scout of America lives under the porch, just like at your house. What? So anyway, we both know the real place is inside. So let's take a peek at that. Just run up to this and you want to be able to click on the front of that terminal. And then uh, as we back in, I put a curtain here so we can either look to see if anyone's coming or close that so we don't have to look at the collectron. Now, there are places in the house where stuff will glitch out, but for the majority, the downstairs of this build doesn't, like it is visible from, the whole thing's visible from one spot. There's Mammy and Pappy's ashes. Good, good, good. Place to, you know, play cards while we wait at our hideout for uh, someone to come for us. So this is like a safe house, right? People don't know we live here. It's all sneaky and shit. So I wanted to look kind of run down, like we just kind of made a shack. So there's our favorite uh, TV station um, and an Easter egg. Um, and then the I used this wooden floor here um, to kind of make it look more shitty. Because we do have that, the ground kind of pushing through the wall there. So it looks kind of like overgrown, run down, rotten. Uh, if we go upstairs, you're going to see that there is basically nothing up here. Uh, you're not going to see much. The carpets I placed down to give it some variety, and we don't even see what I placed over here until I get here. By the way, I put an ally down, and this is the best thing. Um, she can't get in the house. She does not pathfind or use the terminal, so she won't be in the house to bother you. 
she's just wandering around outside so i put her in a beekeeper suit she can kind of keep watch on the house and she doesn't bother you it's beautiful and another plus because you can use the cool desk and stuff which you know i might move to downstairs where you can actually see it without the glitchiness but yeah there's places where it glitches out down here but it's much better than up there and again if uh you know someone's coming for you you can watch through that door and if you see him coming you can just open this and of course to get out you just run out this door you can come you can just run down the hill and they won't even see you so it's a really good uh way to um hide if that's what you're looking for it's a cool little uh trick you can do and i had a lot of fun building this camp so um Anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreons. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please consider it. It helps the channel out, and I appreciate it immensely. And I'll see you guys in the next video.